we have not to be the grandparents of these kids, you know, we have to be their friends. And friends share ideas and friends adopt to each other idea. A lot of time we think, oh, we love them to be here, but we treat them like our grandkids. We just were there to advise you and uh, tell you how we do things. I think it would be the other way around. We should try to share their use of ideas and it will benefit us and will benefit them and will benefit Rotary in the long run. Do not reject the change because things change very quick. These young generations around us are all about changes and they come very strong, very full of hopes. You want to try this and the last thing you want somebody to say, no, this is not the way we do it in this club and this is not how we do Rotary. We do Rotary for the cause and whatever it takes us there, it will be the most important part. You know, it's all for us about the membership, um, especially for me. I love some of the traditions of Rotary, and if you come to one of our meetings, you'll see quite a few of the traditions that have remained intact. But we try and do things um, with our own twists. So you might see Happy Bucks as kind of a lively, loud experience. Uh, we try and say the four-way tests at our meetings. There's other things that we haven't done that most clubs do. For instance, we're not a big singing club, um, although we could do it if we wanted to, but we just don't. Um, we kind of try to pick and choose the things that fit our club, and that really helps the membership because they understand it, they thrive with it, and many of our members do go to other meetings and we pick up new traditions, but we're always changing. That's one thing about being a new generation Rotarian that's so great is that we are always breaking the mold, we're always trying to make people excited about what we're doing, and we make that effort to step outside the box to see what else we can do to be bigger and better and greater. My advice to my generation of Rotarians, be a good listener, ask him a question. What do you like? What you don't like? How can we change it to be more comfortable? Those generation are a lot smart and you can blow your socks off with the great ideas that you're gonna love ourselves. But again, with the excitement of what we did, what we accomplished, when we find a young Rotarian join our club, we ran all to give him advices and we never give a chance to say, hey, you give me an advice. You are new to this organization. You love it as much as me because you just join us. Tell me what you see here that you can change, that your generation will come. We usually talk at them, not talk to them. So I think we have to change this attitude. If we change this attitude, and make, that will make it more welcome to young people. And I have no doubt in my life that it would benefit us, them, and a long run Rotary to be here for many hundred years from now. You know, I do a lot of listening. I believe so strongly in the Rotarians that have gone ahead of me and know Rotary so well and I ask their advice. I want to know their stories and how they've done things in the past. And then we use their ideas and we go out of our way to make sure that we do our research when we need to. And then we take our own twists with it. So we'll make, we'll make a big project that's been established our own in, in our own way. And so, you know, we do uphold the standards and, and the ideas of what Rotary International has done and keep a hold of the traditions and love the traditions so much. And then we play with them to create our own atmosphere and our own environment. And what we found is so many Rotarians of all ages love being in our meetings because they're just fun. People have a good time. And we always say in our club, it's all about being young in spirit. And we do have older members in our club and we have younger members. And we all sort of come together to help each other out and to help each other understand as much as we can about our two different generations. And in fact, I feel like it's even more impactful and we're able to do so much more because we have the wisdom of our elder Rotarians and the energy of our younger Rotarians. So it's really been a beautiful mix for us.